Word got out that Beck and I are in Sofia and, uh, well... Hey guys, I'm Ross. And I'm Beck. And today we're in Sofia, Bulgaria, and we're gonna take you around the streets and show you our favorite everyday Bulgarian foods. And well, all the locals are tucking into this stuff everywhere. It's, look, not 100% healthy, but oh, it's 10 out of 10 for delicious, seriously, some yummy stuff. So yeah, we're really excited to share this with you. And uh, we're actually at the first place right now. So uh, we're gonna go in and there's actually not a lineup, but every time we come here, there's a massive lineup of all the locals waiting for a dish called Banitsa. So we're gonna show you that right now. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Sorry. How are you? Fine, you? Good, good. Benitsa is a traditional Bulgarian pastry that's filled with feta and baked in a large round pan. It's sliced into quarters for the perfect breakfast or lunch snack on the go. Mm. All right, thanks. Thank you so much. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> this is the line I'm talking wow. about, guys. Every day we come here, there's a line normally out the door. So, yeah, let's we'll just see how we go. We've got our benitzas, which is the staple food that you need here. And I'll talk about this too. <laughs> the pastry is crispy on the outside, but the soft layers on the inside remind us of a Malaysian roti with a delicious salty hit from the cheese. It's so addictive, we ate this more times than we'd like to admit. And the traditional way to wash down your banitsa is with a Bulgarian yogurt drink. Made with yogurt, water and salt. They say you live longer when you drink this stuff. Fun fact, this means yes in Bulgaria. So I thought people were being rude, saying no to me. They're like, no, no, but that actually meant yes. Let's keep going. Our next stop is not somewhere that we can pronounce, but never fear the details are in the description below. You'll need to line up with the locals here to try their selection of delicious home-cooked Bulgarian dishes. All right, we're in line and uh, well, we've done this before. There's a little bit of a language barrier when you go to order. So I just point at what we want and uh, it's just delicious food. It's really good. Having sausage meat with some egg in there reminds me of scotch eggs, which for those that know me, I love and I have made so many over the years. Uh, love them so much, but yeah, this is really good, hearty food. It's a cold climate and um, yeah, all the locals are in here smashing into their lunch before they go back to work. Try some. Mm. Yummy. We love this home style of dining. We picked a selection of things to try, including meatballs, mashed potato, and a risotto based dish with liver topped with a bechamel sauce. We even had time for a dessert filled with grains, apple, sultana, and cinnamon. Mm. 
something you will find on every street corner in Sofia is... Pizza! Pizza. Although we didn't have some today, we have tested it and we can definitely recommend it. You have to watch yourself as you're walking because, come back, these things are the same colour as the pavement and well, I just uh, did this. Another delicious snack on the go is the Balkan Chop. It's a crisp bread-like exterior with ham, feta and onion filling. The delicious Makitsa is Bulgaria's answer to the donut. The dough is made with yogurt and is hand stretched before frying and covering with the savoury or sweet topping of your choice. We've gone for cream cheese and jam. Makitsa and coffee is one of the last locations in Sofia to make these fresh on site each day. Word got out that Beck and I are in Sofia and uh, well, it's a bit of a lineup for autographs. Uh, so we just said, yeah, just single file guys, uh, single file and um, one at a time. So we're going to sign some autographs for the local kids and uh, yeah, we're kind of a big deal, you know? We're kind of a really big deal.